Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And tonight, I have another Let's Build video for you. This time, it's the Bolt Action Sherman VC Firefly. Uh, it's uh, a British tank. Um, obviously, it's a British version of the Sherman. Um, it's got the Sherman Hall with their big beastie machine up here. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it comes with some goodies. We'll look at the back. Um, here it's a, two detailed British tank crew models. Uh, it includes optional track guard for hedgerow cutter, which I will be putting on this kit. Because why not? It looks cool. Another thing to paint, you get a stack card, which is wonderful. I'm glad that they're, I'm really glad that they're doing this because I don't have to keep looking up in the book all the time. Uh, of course, some decals and some markers for the tank itself. Uh, this one here is the first Polish armored division, which is right there. I will be doing a Polish uh, armor division. I will be doing a Polish airborne, um, just like just like this here uh, later on. But uh, we're building this tank today, <laughs> so uh, it gives you a little bit of description. And let's check out what's in the box. All right, goodies, goodies. All right, so some detailed instructions for the Firefly. Follow the instructions to build your plastic Sherman VC Firefly. Items marked with a question mark are optional and can be assembled in a different way, in different ways to create your own unique tank. So, bow the Sherman, transmission box, the hull. Here's one of those question marks right down here. These are optional. Anyway, <clears throat> it's probably to leave the hatches open or not. Doesn't look too terribly difficult to do. Um, great instructions here's the markers i will not be assembling these because i really want to do something with the base before i uh, glue these on and we have the card and decals and we have maria uh, marilla s pack this all right so there's your decals pretty standard pretty cool this one is British armor decal sheet. So that's pretty awesome. I'm glad that they include that kind of stuff. So here's the card. It gives you all your options, all your points. Uh, and this is obviously for late war. Uh, pretty obvious. <laughs> they wouldn't have a firefly yet in uh, early war. So it looks like three sprues. Got the main hole. The top looks like the tools are already etched in there. We got the hull pieces. Looks like the turret there, the barrel, and the little bits. So here's some more. Put my hand in front of it. There's the two British tankers, which I won't be uh, using more than likely, but I'll hang on to them. You never know when you could use a body like that to put in a tank. Two part tracks. Bravo. I love that. Um, I prefer the two-part tracks over the four-part tracks. <laughs> it just seems to go together easier. And then you have your bathtub style um, bottom hole there. Nice detail in these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you the tools that I use uh, to build every, uh, usually to build things. And then I will build the whole thing, tell you what troubles I have, tell you if the instructions follow to the T on how to build it. And uh, I'll be right back.
All right, there you have it. There's the Sherman VC Firefly. Uh, it's all built up. Um, uh, there was a, just a few things that uh, I didn't uh, that uh, you should know about building this kit. First of all, um, there's little bitty itty bitty pieces like the tow the tow hooks and stuff uh, that you really need to uh, get some sort of tweezers or something for. Um, like these small hooks, uh, I've got these really nice, nice, uh, point tweezers have a very nice point to them. And, uh, I use those most of the time, um, when I'm dealing with some fiddly bits like this, <laughs> yep, I said fiddly bits, uh, small pieces. Um, so just remember, you know, grab some tweezers, um, before you build yours, uh, so you can, um, you know, take care of that. Um, not much other trouble. Uh, there are, let's see, I think there is, uh, yeah, there's the, there they are, the sand skirts. Um, you have that option for to put on the sand skirts on the side, but most, most of, uh, most of the crew just cut those off anyway. Um, not sure why, but I know they did. So I did not include them. I think it looks better without it and thinks it looks more Shermany. Yes, I said Germany. <laughs> uh, this way. Uh, another thing, um, the only thing I didn't care for, I should say, is this turret. Um, a lot of Warlord uh, kit tanks. Uh, the turret locks on sideways like this. And you turn it and it doesn't come off. This one is very loose. So if you're picking up your tank, uh, it could fall off. I mean, that's the only only thing I didn't care for the kit about is, is that, but it's real easy to pop it off, turn it upside down. Yep. It's dead. Um, it's blown up. So there are benefits to that. Uh, also, uh, I'd recommend not gluing your weapon on here, your, uh, heavy machine gun, because that is an option, uh, that he can take and that's it. Um, I can take it off real easy, put it back in real easy. Um, oh yeah. Another thing that's really surprised me is the turret itself um, if you just, I had to glue it on there because there was no way of making it move, uh, be able to move up and down. It was just kind of like a notch inside. So that kind of surprised me, but it's fine. I, uh, a movement bar moving barrel is not going to make or break me, but, uh, honestly, uh, you know, uh, it's a really nice kit. It goes together really quickly, uh, really fast. So, um, relatively simple instructions. There's only three sprues. There's not a ton of parts. There's a few small parts. You have these options here, like the tra extra tracks, the wheels, the jerry can in the back. Um, I put an extra track on the turret. Not sure if it's supposed to have one, but it looks really cool. Um, and the hedgerow cutters. I put those there on the front. I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to do these later, uh, cause I'd like to do some stuff with the bases. Um, something <laughs> than just MDF, uh, just paint them a certain color or something along those lines. Uh, and, uh, of course we got the decals. So, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Pretty cool kit. Really like it. Uh, it's going to go great with my British forces. Uh, my airborne, obviously this is a late war tank. This is a version of the, uh, Sherman five, um, that great Britain had. So, but, uh, that's it. That's all I got. Thank you very much. I appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Uh, please spread the word. I really appreciate that. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of this kit. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch you in the next video.